Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Natalie Lambert and I am a Associate Professor of Medicine at Indiana University School of Medicine and I've partnered with Survivor Corps to conduct research on what patients are experiencing once they've contracted COVID-19. And you may have seen the report that we published that talks about the wide range of symptoms that people can get long term if they've had COVID-19. And I just wanted to take a minute and go through some of the results and explain a little bit about the things we found and how that compares to what we already know about the virus from previous research. So to start things off, uh, here's the report that we did. It's posted on Survivor Corps website and I can link to that below for people who want to take a look through the full thing. But basically what we did was we posted a Facebook poll in the Survivor Corps group page and we had a long list of symptoms that we already knew that people were experiencing long-term because it was mentioned in the Facebook group. And we also left it open-ended where if um, people went through the list and they were experiencing a symptom and it wasn't there, they could add it and then other people could vote on that symptom as well. And then we just asked people, you know, if you've had long-term COVID symptoms, please take this survey and select every symptom you've had that you consider to be a long-term symptom. And we had over 1,500 responses, which is fantastic. I don't know if you've looked at other research papers, but it's often more in the hundreds how many people participate. So thank you so much, everybody, for participate, participating. We really learned a lot. And I'd like to show you some of the results here of what we found. So you can see in this bar graph here, it lists the 50 most common long-term symptoms that people reported. And I've highlighted in red the symptoms that are already listed on the CDC's website as COVID-19 symptoms. Now the CDC is aware that there are other symptoms out there, but these are the ones that are sort of being officially talked about on the CDC website. And what you can see here is that, um, you know, the most common symptoms that are long-term are things like fatigue, muscle or body aches, shortness of breath, and that are, you know, those are typical flu symptoms that we already knew about, but our survey actually revealed some different types of symptoms that are also long-term. So things like difficulty concentrating, inability to exercise, difficulty sleeping, you can see anxiety, memory problems, dizziness, chain pressure, or chest pain or pressure, joint pain, heart palpitations, even things like tachycardia and hair loss and blurry vision. I really encourage you to read the report and to look through the graph. And you have any questions about that, post that in the comments below and I'll answer as many questions as I can. I can't give medical advice, of course, and I'm not a medical doctor. I'm a medical researcher, so I can answer any questions you have related to research. And I would also love your suggestions on research that we should be doing in the future. In just a couple of weeks, you're going to see another study that we're posting It'll be another survey where we're going to try to dig deeper into these symptoms and try to understand for each of these symptoms, how severe are they, how long do they last, how do they impact people's lives. You know, we really care about how people are doing and just want you to know that we're really dedicated to getting some answers and we'll be sharing everything with you. So thank you very much. Bye.